1 Corinthians chapter 15. And in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 50. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. But I tell you a mystery. I tell you a so, a deeper meaning. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the last shofar, for the shofar will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible is put on incorruption and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the same that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the Torah. In other words, that it shows sin. It identifies sin. I want to go to the book of Eov, Job. And we're going to go to the 14th chapter in Eov. This is talking about resurrection, of course. Verse 7, for there is hope for a tree. If it is cut down, then it will sprout again. And that its tender shoots will not cease, though its roots may grow old in the earth and its stump may die in the ground. Yet at the scent of water it shall bud and bring forth branches like a plant. But man dies and is laid away. Indeed, he breathes his last. And where is he? As water disappears from the sea and a river becomes parched and dries up, so man lies down and does not rise till the heavens are no more. They will not wake nor be roused from their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in the grave that you would conceal me until your wrath is past, that you would appoint me a set time and remember me. If a man dies, shall he live again? As the days of my hard service, I will wait till my change comes. So the change is for the righteous, and the righteous are being resurrected in a glorified body where this corruptible shall put on incorruption, this mortal shall put on immortality. So, let's go back to our text. And let me find where I'm at. In those days, uh, chapter 50, uh, verse 1, In those days there will be a change for the holy and righteous ones, and the light of day shall rest upon them, and glory and honor shall be given back to the holy ones on the day of weariness. He heaped evil upon the sinners, but the righteous ones shall be victorious in the name of the Lord of the spirits. He will cause the others to see this so that they may repent and forsake the deeds of their hands. There shall, there shall not be honor unto them in the name of the Lord of the spirits. But through his name they shall be saved, and the Lord of the Spirit shall have mercy upon them. For his mercy is considerable. He is righteous in his judgment and in the glory that is before him. Oppression cannot survive his judgment, and the unrepentant in his presence shall perish. The Lord of the Spirits has said that from henceforth he will not have mercy on them. In those days. So we have to go back to the board. In those days, this is five times now, in those days, Sheol, the place of the dead, will return all the deposits which she had received, and hell will give back all that which it owes. And he shall choose the righteous and the holy ones from among the risen dead. For the day when they shall be selected and saved has arrived. In those days, the elect one shall sit on my throne. Ah, very interesting. The elect one. The elect one is the Messiah. Shall sit on my throne, which is the throne of the ancient of days. And from the conscience of his mouth shall come out the secrets of wisdom for the Lord of spirits has given to him and glorified him. In those days, mountains shall dance like rams and the hills shall leap like kids satiated with milk. Let's go to Isaiah 55. In 
In Isaiah chapter 55, you also find almost the same thing, uh, the same expression in uh, the Halim, Psalms 113 through 118. <clears throat> so this we read a little bit of this, or I quoted it. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. You who have no money, come buy and eat. He has come by wine and milk without money and without price. And uh, then we're going to drop down. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth, this is verse 10, and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Let's go back to our Enoch text. And um, in those days, let's see. Uh, in those days, the elect one shall sit on my throne. And from the conscience of his mouth shall come out all the secrets of wisdom. For the Lord of the spirits has given them to him and glorify him. In those days, mountains shall dance like rams and the hills shall leap like kids satiated with milk. And the faces of all the angels, angels in heaven shall glow with joy. Because on that day, the elect one has arisen. And the earth shall rejoice. And the righteous ones shall dwell upon her. And the elect ones shall walk upon her. 